Good morning, everybody. I'm going to be on mute. Morning. All righty. And who just joined us by phone? Uh, who just joined by phone? Call in user four. I'll get that answered first. All right, well, not sure who Colin User 4 is. Um, FYI, Patrick, I had muted. Oh, sorry, who's that? This is John, sorry. I'm oh, trying to get on that back still, sorry. Awesome. Colin Loser 4. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> Patrick, you can go ahead and unmute the office. I had muted you guys real quick to make sure we got that sorted out. With that, it is 11.01 a.m., and we will call this meeting of the Libertarian Party of Ohio Executive Committee to order. We will begin with any disclosures conflicts of interest, etc., that may be necessary from members. Are there any such disclosures to be made? Oh, never mind. There, I found it. All That's right. Perfect. Were there any disclosures from the group there? No. No. All right. And we'll go ahead and move on to the adoption of the agenda, which I will go ahead and also share here. Um, Point of order. Yes. Can you call the roll? Yeah. I, I really should write that explicitly down under call to order. My apologies. Uh, will the secretary please call the roll? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cavoli. Present. And absent minded. Present. Ms. Gilson. Present. Mr. Moeller. Here. Ms. Flower. Here. Mr. Gill. Here. Mr. Strelo. Here. Mr. Nana. Here. All are present and we do have quorum. Fabulous. Thank you. All right. We will now move to the adoption of the agenda. Uh, we have the uh, agenda. I'm sharing it here as was uh, distributed to members prior. There have not been any um, alterations except to update the status of a couple of those items of business conducted between meeting meetings that were still pended at the time the agenda was released. Uh, both ultimately succeeded. Those are items four and five under one E. Otherwise, uh, are there, <clears throat> I haven't had any uh, re requests to add anything else to the agenda. So I would uh, at this time submit to the body, uh, that we move the adoption of the agenda as previously presented or as presented here. <laughs> Second. So moved. All right. With, uh, is there any objection to the adoption of the agenda as has been previously distributed and presented? No. 
Hearing none, the agenda is adopted. Uh, we'll move to the approval of minutes from previous meetings. Ms. Flower. Uh, any corrections noted on minutes from March? Questions, clarifications? And I move to adopt the meeting minutes from the March meeting. Second. Seconded by Mr. Strelo. Oh. Any objections? I'll go ahead and handle the, the vote there, barring objection. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The minutes are approved. Thank you, Ms. Flower. Um, we'll move on to a quick review of the business conducted between meetings. Um, we had several items uh, this time which were uh, disposed of between meetings, uh, including the recognition of two new county affiliates, both Montgomery and Erie counties. So congratulations to both of those new county affiliates. We look forward to working with you in the future and are thrilled to have two more excellent counties added to our growing role of affiliate parties. Uh, we also made a few changes to the 2021 budget, uh, one to add a line for the 2022 convention, uh, which uh, for which the Convention Oversight Committee has begun site selection and uh, collecting revenues with a theme contest, uh, and then also to add a similar line uh, to the budget for the 2021 conference, uh, which has secured a venue and has begun, uh, the committee's begun selling tickets for that event, which we're all looking forward to, I'm sure. And uh, the last item there would be the addition of a line for the sustaining member program to the budget, uh, which largely just covers materials, um, expenses to continue printing the membership cards, which I know all of our members are rather fond of on actual uh, Card, cards of a reasonable weight, which remains a banner feature of the program. Uh, there was no other business conducted between me meetings aside from those items mentioned, and we can move right along uh, to reports from party officers. And we'll begin with the Office of the Secretary, Ms. Flower. All right. Um, so nothing huge. Um, over the last month, I was able to sit in with the uh, Ohio Mises Caucus meeting and we had a discussion of, okay, now we've got a bunch of new county affiliates. What do we do to get them active? Um, what kind of activities can they start working on? Those types of things. And then I've been helping Helen uh, get in touch with different counties um, on uh, spinning up their affiliates scheduling meetings, uh, just following up on those types of things. So that's what I've been working on. All right. Uh, any further questions, comments for the Office of the Secretary? We'll move to the Office of the Treasurer, Mr. Moeller. Yeah, also nothing huge here. Um, we filed our Q1 report with FEC and uh, general state candidate reports with the High Secretary of State over the past two weeks. Um, I don't think she's on the call, but thanks a lot to Linda Comstock for doing a lot of the legwork on all, both of those. And the only other thing is, uh, on a positive note, we have about almost three times as much cash on hand now as we did at the same time in 2020. So trending in good direction. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Always a good office to hear good news from. Anything further for the Treasury? That's all I had, unless anybody had any questions. All right, moving along then. Uh, office of the Vice Chair, Mr. Glasgow. The uh, vice chair's written reports posted in the meeting file. Uh, quick overview. Um, moving scholarship essay contest of the 21-22 school year based on 
uh, me vastly underestimating the number of high schools in Ohio. Um, if there are people that would like to volunteer to work on that project later on this year, please let me know. Um, I'm keeping my thumb on the conference and the convention. I'm on both committees and kind of tracking where things are at and working with those teams to publicize correctly via the website, Facebook, and um, mass email. Uh, and my priority for staffing updates is the five regional liaisons. Um, for the office of the deputy vice chair, uh, Helen has been fervently working on um, affiliate spin up. Um, most of the new affiliates, uh, the ones that weren't pending, um, kind of got the push from Helen. Um, she's done a great job there, and she's got a list that she's currently working on, which is why she's on mute. She's probably making phone calls to other affiliates right now. So uh, that's all I have, unless there's any other questions. All right. Uh, with that, we'll move to myself. Um, I also have been keeping track of the activities of the various uh, event-related committees um, been going on. Very excited by the work that's being done there and encouraged to uh, see involvement across many people planning both of those events. Um, also, I would like to take a, a brief moment to commend both committees um, on the initiative to get the uh, finances squared away on the early side of the planning for these events uh, rather than letting that sit and especially to uh, the conference committee in particular for the uh, outstanding early ticket sales that have already uh, been going on as well as the uh, con convention oversight committee for the uh, clever, in my opinion, move to uh, mimic what our friends at the LNC have done and get some early revenue flowing from the uh, theme contest to let members be involved and also give us a bit of a seed fund to start up the conventions uh, activities generally. I um, think these are both going to be really excellent events, and I'm excited to finally be able to see a lot of our members uh, in person together after what's been quite a while. Uh, otherwise, I have been working on uh, the revised policy manual um, breakout that it remains not quite ready for review by the committee, but I do expect to have a draft together before our May meeting. Um, it may be ready for a, a final approval by then, although I would be happy to just have the, the latest draft um, together for any feedback from uh, division directors uh, and any other stakeholders within uh, the party. There's a couple of uh, offices that I would like to get some feedback from on that before the committee takes it up so that we have the informed recommendations of all the pertinent players. And beyond that, um, I, don't, I do not have a lot to report. I will uh, make a note for the group that I am expecting uh, to... Uh, welcome a second child to the world in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that may put a bit of a damper on my availability in May, but I have every confidence with the excellent staff that we've built up already that we won't have any problem handling things. If you have any particular concerns, please feel free to uh, send those to me by email or to uh, get in touch directly. Happy to talk with anyone by whatever means. Uh, if there's anything you need, including over that, um, immediate period following just not like the week of birth, whatever that happens to be. I'll keep everyone appraised. <laughs> With that, any uh, other questions, comments, uh, concerns for the office of the chair at this time? Just a hearty congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Indeed. Thank you all. Uh, we can... Slide right along then to reports from national committee members. Um, I would like to make a brief note here that uh, I know there have been some the, the recruiting efforts for a few more of the national committee uh, standing committees, um, like bylaws and I think the credit convention credentials and um, a few others has gone on. And there are um, a few members from Ohio that have been 
um, selected already. Uh, we've not yet gotten into the seats on some of the standing committees like platform that are um, going to be under Ohio's appointment, but um, I have not gotten in touch with those people yet to uh, make sure that they have agenda time, but I intend to. So if they would like to reach out um, or we'll, we will be doing so over the course of the next month, um, there will be the opportunity uh, for them to be heard at this meeting. I believe it is important for this group to stay aware of the goings on within such committees and the appointees uh, to them. Otherwise, we'll go straight to the top, as it were, Region 3 representative for the LNC, Mr. Banana. All right. <clears throat> um, we uh, canceled the electronic meeting for April and May. So we're meeting in person in the first week of June at the Swiss Hotel in Chicago. Um, and that's when we'll, we'll do, I think there's some committee appointments on that schedule, but most of them have been filled other than, like you said, Ohio has an appointment that we will handle on our end. Um, I'm not even sure that they've even solicited uh, for that information yet, but uh, we can always give it to them early. There's no um, issue with that. Um, really, there's not a whole lot going on uh, until the meeting in June. Uh, they're still hammering out the affiliate, um, whatever they're calling it this time around. It's not the not what they called it last time. The affiliate um, membership sharing program. Um, it was called UMP last time. I don't think they're calling it that anymore. Um, anyhow, that's uh, there's supposed to be a first draft of that uh, very soon, um, and then uh, they'll work through and perfect that, and that should be completed within the next couple of months, I would assume. Um, and that's pretty much it from national that affects Ohio. Um, there's the training in Indianapolis, I think it is. Um, and I think it's in, uh, maybe it, I can't remember without looking. It might be in uh, July or maybe it's, or maybe it's after our event. Either way, it doesn't coincide with our event or it's, it, it's nowhere close. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's in October. Our, stuff yeah october so it's after so um uh, attendance is free um but you have to find lodging um and, and all that good stuff other than that uh, i think that's everything all right anything further for mr nana <laughs> All right, we can go to everybody's favorite part of the agenda, reports from party divisions. Um, we could start with political, which I believe was submitted to the drive uh, by the deadline. Hopefully everyone has had a moment to review. Uh, Mr. Khan was not able to make it in person uh, with us today, but are there any comments to be made on the political divisions report? All right, hearing none, uh, we can move on ahead to finance, uh, which was also um, filed on the drive there, and hopefully members have had a moment to review. Are there any comments on the finance division report? Uh, Jim, I got a couple. I mean, I can run it real quick. The only thing I have is, uh, uh, John, I haven't. Uh, purchase request for you. I just hadn't heard back from uh, involving the membership program. Um, other than that, um, hold on real quick. We've got a bit of a dip this month in membership. Um, but other than that, everything's been going well. Um, you can look at the screen real quick. Um, Uh, here's membership dollars, uh, donation dollars over the past four months. Um, 
so we're doing real well. March, we had a new lifetime member out of Licking County. Um, and so that's why it's drastically out of place for, compared to the others. Um, this month, uh, we're doing a little slower. We have $500 in recurrings that happen towards the end of the month uh, is the big ones. So that will boost a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I did not catch that the membership donation form was broken for about a week and a half. Um, so we were a little slow off the beginning of the month. Um, here is the new members by month, and you can see we are dropped more likely due to that. Uh, overall for the year is just under nine grand um, for non-remit and then 363 sustaining members. Um, overall, I have overall purchases this month is a little larger um, based on ticket sales going up this uh, last week. So um, the conference has started to bring in quite a bit of ticket sales. So it has increased drastically. All right. Anything further there? All right. With respect to the information technology division, then uh, there was not a written report filed and I apologize for not getting my contributions towards that done. Um, the main note I think is that we have officially posted the open director job uh, to the job board again and would invite all members interested to apply at lpo.org slash jobs. Uh, otherwise, uh, everything continues to operate reasonably well there, um, aside from the fact that as we are scaling up with some more counties and beginning to try and provision services for them. Uh, we may need to increase the expenditure on infrastructure there a bit to support that. Um, we're getting close to that threshold, but we're not there yet. Anything further on information technology? This is shaping up to be a rather expedient meeting, <laughs> communications division. <laughs> we have anything for communications, uh, Mr. Glasgow? The job is posted, please apply. <laughs> um, the only other note I have is I'm always looking for blog posts. Anybody out there would like to write for the blog, write on the website, we'll post it to Facebook. You can get your amateur journalism career started, if you would, or uh, just want to share your thoughts on some libertarian ideas or a piece of legislation in the federal or the state or local government even. I would love to post it. Um, might even get shared in LPO in the know. Just let me know, and uh, we'll get that going. Um, LPO in the know will go out next week. All right. Anyone have anything further on the division reports? All right, we will move to the committee reports then. Uh, first up would be the 2021 Conference Organizing Committee chaired by Mr. Nana. All right. Um, there's not a ton to talk about. I believe I asked and I don't know if we ever did it uh, for a informal straw poll between the top three that our committee recommended. Can't remember if we actually conducted that or not. If not, it's not a huge pressing matter. Um, it was, it was we, posted. We, okay. Um, we um, signed the contract. Um, we are waiting for the caterer to contact me. I'm assuming it's just going to be the beginning of this week. If not, I'll be proactive and call them. Um, They've been kind of slow lately. Uh, I think they're just getting really busy. He told me as such uh, the last time I talked to him over the phone uh, about four or five days ago. Um, so 
Uh, and I know he's he's pretty much there alone <laughs> as the entire doing the entire sales team job as one person. So um, I understand that he's got a lot to, on his plate um, and I don't think they're ignoring us or anything. It's just uh, the busy season is getting into swing here and that's good for them. So um, like I said, right now, we're just waiting on the catering uh, lady to call. Um, we have the entire catering menu built out. If anybody on the XCOM wants to look at our tentative catering menu, it is in the folder for the uh, 2021 conference. Um, so you can go look at that. And I believe it also has um, some of our other prices broken down. Um, I mean, really, that's it right now. We're we're just kind of I'm, I'm the committee. We went, stepped back to meeting every two weeks with the committee because there really isn't a ton to talk about um, that we need to meet every single week. Um, once maybe once we get a little closer, we might go back to weekly. But really, all that's going to be left once we get catering nailed down is deciding where in the building we want to put our events because we'll we'll know everything by that point. We'll know what build what rooms we're going to have at what time. Um, and then, you know, we'll just be on us to decide how we're going to fill those rooms. So, uh, everything's coming along nicely. As Patrick said, uh, we're start sales are starting to pick up and that's without even announcing a keynote or anything. So, um, I think this is going to be a pretty successful event. Thank you very much. Anything further regarding the 2021 that's conference? Good. How many of the vendor tables do you have? You trying to get a comment for the the group, Miss Flower? Or was that a sidebar? Uh, kind of a sidebar. Just curious as to how many vendor tables we sold for the conference. We're at three vendor tables, and I mean, total ticket sales so far is over fifteen hundred within the first week. So, very good. So that's one hundred and well, how many people is that? That's like five people. Oh, I mean, tickets <laughs> tickets aren't. I mean, we're sitting just around the 200 mark, which is what Dustin kind of had us aim for, um, with the whole intention being that the tickets may be a little bit more than normal, but uh, the room fees are so dang cheap at 75 bucks a night that it's it's still well worth your money to be down there. We're doing several nice nice events planned, and the just just in coming, hanging out, socializing, and meals alone, it'll be well worth it. But we are limited to 100 people based on size, so get your tickets early. Yeah, I, yeah. that's that's the message for, for everybody. And uh, I, I think if we, if we end up going over 100, uh, you know, I think they're going to be able to accommodate. But, um, yeah, everybody get your tickets as quickly as possible because the sooner the better. Cool. All right. Anything further? Okay, well, thank you to all involved with that committee for the continuing hard work there. I'm sure it will be as awesome as we're all hoping. Uh, moving on, uh, slightly further out, the 2022 Convention Oversight Committee, uh, which has also been busy, chaired by Mr. Glasgow. Uh, so we're meeting every other week right now. Um, the We've had two meetings so far. Uh, we've kind of narrowed down what our two ideal weekends are. We're kind of looking at the end of March, beginning of April. Um, we launched the theme contest about a month ago, um, and we have several entries, quite a few, and uh, that wraps up tomorrow afternoon um, at the at our meeting, we'll pick the top five and launch the next phase of it. So you'll be voting with your dollars. Um, so if you haven't submitted your entry, please do so. It's only $25 to submit an entry for your theme for the 2022 LPO convention. Um, and uh, kind of give us a good kickoff to get things started with. And then we'll be um, working on the, um, the rest of that contest starting next week. As far as the other planning goes, we've scoped out several, several venues. Um, we're hoping that we can have our pick by the CENTCOM meeting so we can present it at the May CENTCOM meeting and um, get the authorization to go forward from the Central Committee at that point. Uh, and then we'll 
scope in and start the rest of the planning. But we really need to, the, that's our goal is to have it done by the end of May, uh, at least the, the venue taken care of. Um, other than that, we're still in preliminary stages. So. All right, anything further for the Convention Oversight Committee? That also promises to be a whole lot of fun. Um, <laughs> looking forward to some of those details getting released over this summer here. And uh, yeah, everybody loves a good convention. We will move then without anything further to old business, um, which I will just pause briefly to note, despite it having no time. Um, the tabled item is the review of the ballot initiative, uh, which was presented by Accountability Now Ohio at our last meeting. Uh, that is not presently eligible for the agenda, but I noted that it has been tabled. It was tabled definitely until the ballot initiative's language was accepted by the state, which to my knowledge, at least at the time of releasing the agenda, it had not yet been. Um, so we are... Continuing to track that, um, and we'll revisit the potential endorsement thereof as soon as it is a live measure. All right, with that, we will move to new business, and with no uh, new business scheduled on the agenda, straight to new business from the floor for up to 15 minutes, barring a motion to close that item early. Is there any new business from the floor? Unless I'm stepping on someone's toes, I'll move to dispose of it. I'll second that. All right. It has been moved and seconded to close the opportunity for new business to be presented from the floor. Is there any objection? Well, since it's unanimous, then we will move along, uh, wrapping this up rather quickly. Uh, we have an opportunity for public comment here um, to those watching the meeting remotely via YouTube or present uh, in the gallery in the office there. If you would like to enter a comment for the committee to read or possibly address on the record here, you may do so. Uh, the YouTube chat is available live. Uh, and Mr. Glasgow, if you could help me out if there's anyone there looking to make a comment. <laughs> Dan, I see your motion, but we already recognized Lucas County back in the 2020, 2000, or 2018 to 2020 <laughs> committee. So your motion would be moot, but I do recognize that you want to recognize that uh, Lucas County did work and uh, adopted their own version. Um, and Dan, for the record, for the last year, I have been chair, secretary, and treasurer of the party. I've met with myself regularly. There was a motion that the Lucas County was officially affiliated last year and they held an organizing convention and then they never held an organizational meeting. So it existed. <laughs> and then it just semi. Damn COVID. Yeah. So form one was already filed. I I, I, I will at least just for the, the the sake of novelty if nothing else then uh, note from uh, Dan's <laughs> comments that the uh, Lucas County Libertarian Party of Ohio has the Ohio version of Liberty Clause and that they, they are seeking to be recognized as the only true libertarian affiliate. Uh, I see that means local affiliate of the LPO and um, noted. I, I, I would also remind uh, everyone that the, the committee does not necessarily have to respond to comments made in the public comment section, but we'll take all such matters under advisement going forward. Are there any other public comments? Is there anyone else in the gallery? 
I, I, I moved to hear public comment. Second. <laughs> All right. Is there any objection to the closure of public comment a hair early due to uh, having exhausted all those who appear to be willing to comment. <laughs> then without objection, we will move along to the final item of business on the agenda, the setting of the next regular meeting of the executive committee. We'll pause briefly for everyone to find their way to a calendar. Yes. I, May 22nd. That... Is... CENTCOM. Looking up. Okay. okay. Thank you. That's but... what I was about to ask. Yeah, the only uh, notable dates uh, in May, there are several, um, with our desire to generally meet on weekends and avoid uh, religious and federal holidays, as well as other meetings of party units that would leave out Sunday the 2nd, which is Orthodox Easter, uh, Sunday the 9th, which is Mother's Day, uh, Saturday the 22nd, which is the LPO Central Committee meeting, and that runs out the month. Uh, there are a couple of other fun ones in there, uh, but those are all midweek, and I don't expect us to run into conflicts with those. So, Well, I'll say Memorial Day weekend is usually a bad idea to try to conduct business. People want to take a long vacation. Yep. I would stay the same for Mother's Day weekend. Yep. yep. So I'm looking at the, the 15th is my, the only clear Saturday. My, yeah. Dustin, what do you say? What, uh, I was going to ask if... Uh, how long we thought the meeting was going to be because if it's only going to be half hour like this or we don't anticipate it being too much longer then i don't think it's a big deal to have it on the same day as the centcom but that's uh up to the rest of the body i would agree i think dustin the centcom meeting spot. starts at 10 30 do we want to do before or after 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 Usually yeah, we do 30 do. minutes after adjournment. That way uh, we don't like accidentally like set that. it for a time that we can't do it. Okay. okay. So 15 minutes after adjournment on the 22nd. Yeah. The, I, I, I don't, just because of the slightly different nature of meetings, I, I, I would prefer if we could fix a time, even if it just leaves an, an, an artificially large gap in the day. Um, or or pick up another. I mean, well, on, on on that day, I'll be leaving from here and driving up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. So it I don't want it to be set for like four o'clock and twiddle my thumbs for two hours. Also, Fair enough. It, it also depends if the uh, how, central how woke up are you to setting it. How, how opposed are you to setting it to th thirty minutes after? Because I mean, technically, that's a time certain, but. If you're this, super opposed, then I won't make the motion. It's mostly just at trying to be a little more definitive for people who are watching. Although, if I, I would admit that it's likely that anyone who would like to uh, view the meetings uh, remotely, especially, is likely to view both or neither. Um, uh, is everyone opposed so, to doing it at like 8 a.m.? Yeah, I mean, I'm saying, not opposed, yeah. but that's up to you guys. <laughs> yeah. We could do 9 a.m. Do 9 a.m. It gives us an hour and a half. If we have to continue after, we can. I'm okay with that. That means Sounds I'm going to drive down here. Which is going to be a long day. Uh, longer for some day. people. I know. I mean, I, 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 will, I will leave the decision of, of timing completely to the group. I've expressed a slight inclination uh, as to my preference. However, um, I am almost certainly going to be uh, attending remotely for, for that entire day as well. Nice. See above on reasons. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to make a motion then that we do it 30 minutes after the adjournment of the Central Committee meeting on May 22nd. See if it gets a second. Second. All right, it has been moved and seconded to set the next regular meeting of the Executive Committee for May 22nd, 2021 at 6230 Bush Boulevard, Columbus, Ohio, and electronically by the usual means, 30 minutes following the adjournment of the Central Committee meeting on the same day. Is there any objection? Hearing none, it is unanimously resolved, and we will go ahead and have our next meeting on the 22nd following the Central Committee. And having exhausted the agenda, 
we stand adjourned. Thank you all. Cool. I love the way this Our- zooms yep, through. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And uh, 